Hey, what's up guys? It's Toxic here. Now before I start the video real quick, I want to say I'm sorry that this video is a little bit late. Um, I know I, I should be better at this by now. I've been doing this for multiple years, but um, yeah, I'm not very good at YouTube. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought I had something prepared for today and um, it, it's literally 4.59 and I just realized I had nothing prepared. So I was, I'm, I'm going to record the video that I was planning for tomorrow for today. So yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Um, while I'm also explaining stuff to you guys, check the community tab, more unpopular opinions, gonna be uploading it tomorrow. Alright, so let's get started. Today we're gonna be talking about how they removed clans from Roblox. Now, they're not quite removing it just yet, um, it, it says within the next couple of days, okay, uh, uh, get off my case. I wanted to make this video for tomorrow because they would actually start removing it by then, but, uh, yeah, I guess I can't do that now. <laughs> but, um, basically... Uh, as you can see here, clans, um, according to Iron Legion, the Roblox staff member, clans no longer contribute to the Roblox group's experience. Now, some of you guys might be asking, what were clans ever used for? Now, back in 2014-2015, when player points was a thing, and every game had a little leaderboard based off player points, a clan would, uh, you could put a bunch of people in your group into a clan, and in that clan, all their player points would accrue into one total, and it would put you into uh, the leaderboard. And um, you are obviously higher, depending on how uh, many player points you had. And that's essentially what it was meant for. It was supposed to show, this is the most dominant clan in this game, um, etc, etc. You get my point. But since they removed that um, quite a long time ago, they decided to remove clans. Now... They're not going to just completely remove it, because if you don't know, this costed, I believe, 500 Robux. It was either 100 or 500, maybe even 1,000. It was somewhere in that range. Um, but essentially, they're giving everyone who purchased clans a refund um, in order to obviously compensate for that. So everybody who bought it in the past number of years is going to get a refund for it. Um, I think that that's pretty good. Uh, great job, Roblox. You know, you finally noticed that they literally have had no purpose for years. Um, I'm not going to be hard on Roblox for this, actually, because that's actually pretty good. Um, when you think about it, they're actually going to refund everybody who purchased a clan. And I think that's really good for Roblox, because typically when they remove features that costed money, they're pretty reluctant on giving people money back. So, I think that this is a great, um, thing, that they're going to be refunding all the purchases as well. Um... So yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Do you guys think that the removal of clans is a bad thing or a good thing? Um, personally, I feel like it, since it really had no purpose other than showing off, hey, I have this rich person in my group, so I'm going to put him in my clan. Other than that, I don't think there was ever any purpose um, since they removed player points. So uh, yeah, that's just going to be my opinion, though. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, though. I think I'm going to upload another video today. Um, specifically, I guess I could tell you guys, part three to all the free models that uh, I created as a kid because I, I really like laughing at myself. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, though. Um, the video will probably be up in like an hour or so after this. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time, and goodbye.